I'm looking forward to just getting to space and seeing Earth for the first time from that viewpoint. You hear everybody who's been up to space talk about it, how it can be this life-changing moment. And so I'm excited to get there and see it for myself and experience that for myself. I've wanted to be an astronaut since I was a little kid. I grew up in Houston, and so I had NASA right down the street. And growing up, I always wanted to be an explorer. I was always dreaming about far off places and cultures and people that I'd never met. I first met Laurel when she was attended a recruiting event we had here on campus. She was interested in propulsion, so she sat at a table with me. I remember I asked her, well, why, why are you coming to Purdue? And she said right out, I want to be an astronaut. You know, I thought, well, she probably has a pretty good chance because she was so serious confident and she's very humble. She's clear as she wanted to do it. And she made all the right decisions. Laura is someone that knows what she wants, um, which is to be an astronaut right from the beginning. It was no surprise to me that she won because all along she knew she wanted it. She collect her skill along the way, going after her dream. I'm feeling a lot of excitement. I've just been very focused on preparing for the mission that I sort of forget that this actually all um, ends in launch and a space flight. But every now and then um, I'll remember that and those moments will hit me and it's it's a pretty amazing feeling. I definitely had a great experience at Purdue um, doing research um, and learned a lot from my advisor, Bill Anderson, just in, as far as like how to approach a problem. I definitely think that's going to come in handy on board the space station as uh, I'm moving through my day, working on different research projects. She's a very positive person, very capable, diligent, you know, gets along great with everybody, just the sort of attributes you want and need it to have as an astronaut. I am very confident she will be able to find a way to be productive in even tight spaces. She was in submarine, she's familiar with the environment. You know, going down in the darkness for days at a time certainly prepared her well, I think, for being an astronaut. So I'll be a flight engineer on Expedition 70. As astronauts, we are trained to do anything that needs to be done on space stations. I'm part of an experiment called Cypher. Um, it's studying all aspects of the space environment on the human body, um, everything from uh, my bone density and how that responds to the psychology of how the human brain adapts to living somewhere that you can work on the ceiling. We have two spacewalks scheduled this fall in October, and so I'm hoping to get to do a spacewalk on one of those. I am very grateful. I have had a lot of opportunities to live and work um, all over the country and now all over the world. And so I'm excited to um, get to see and honor all of those places from space. And I'm just feel very fortunate to um, have gotten to know all those places the way that I do. I've definitely received a lot of support from Purdue, um, just texts and emails from friends that I had while working there. And then also just the broader community in general, obviously a lot of astronauts from Purdue and just a lot of enthusiasm and support in general for the space program. She deserves it because she's been working at, for this for a long time. And, you know, like I said, has done everything she needs to do to be there. I'm super proud of her.